girls, rock your boys. We want more, more, more. More, more, more. Look at that face. Guys, I'm guarding the truck. I'm guarding the truck from the ticket guys. Where are they at? Where are they at? I was sitting up front for a minute, but I was like, I don't want to leave Weedy B back here by himself. Teal's like, you better not sit in the back. You better not sit in the back because if they don't see anybody <laughs> in the front, they're going to give me a ticket. Give us a ticket. I said, Tito, I got this. I got this. But now it's pretty much at that time where I can sit in the back. But I sat in the front front. I kept checking Weedy B in the mirror and turned around. Cause I didn't want to leave my little old boy, boy, boy by himself back here. Oh my God. And then I had to pee. Oh Lord. <laughs> hey, look, all I know is I got some barriers. Listen, I drink a lot of water guys. I can't hold, I'm just being real with you. So I put a little barrier up and I have a, a bucket over here and I, I had to do what I had to do. Look, look, this is the city, you know, things happen over here. <laughs> Yo, one time Tito was sitting in the truck, right? And he said this older lady, like, she must have been in her 70s. I guess she couldn't hold. And she popped the spot right, and she didn't know Tito was in the truck. She peed right in front of the truck, the poor thing, in between our truck and another truck. And this is when we in the shelter. And I was like, well, Tito, you know, when you got to go, listen, especially for females, I don't know how it is for a dude. But ladies, you know how it is when you reach a certain age and you got to pee? It actually can be very harmful. Yeah, the doctor actually told me. He said what happens is if you hold it in for a certain amount of time, um, it essentially goes back into your kidneys. That's what he told me. The doctor, I was like, what? No way. It goes back into your kidneys. Whew. I don't want that. But I have been drinking less water. I ate bananas this morning. Me and Weedy B had oatmeal after he had his pizza. And getting to him to eat the oatmeal was a little hard, but I did get him to have at least six or seven spoonfuls, which is good. I put bananas in it to make it more healthy. So I just want to show you guys inside the truck. You know, it's uh, that was my barrier. Weedy sweater. <laughs> God forgive me. Hey, like I said, when you gotta go, you gotta go. And we got, it's hair, it's semi-tinted, so, you know, it is what it is. You got to make do of the situation at hand. And uh, I want to show you guys that uh, sometimes, Bob Reese, you got to get outside and get a little, uh, you know, out there with Weedy B and be guarding our stuff because they'll be giving you a ticket like it's, <laughs> like it's nobody's business. Oh, and they love giving tickets. It's like, I've seen um, meter maids are called... They be having a big, like, Ronald McDonald smile on their face, like the money's going in their pocket. You believe that? Unbelievable. I'm like saying to myself, why are they smiling so much? Like, are they getting brownie points from the boss? What's going on there? <laughs> I mean, they get a, maybe they, maybe certain amount of tickets, they get a bonus. I don't know how that works, but they be looking like they be getting something out of the deal, right? Well, I'll wait to be. <laughs> my baby. So I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Tara Casey, my dear, you, girl, you are such a survivor. I don't, listen, I know Tara Casey, you said you didn't want to really talk about your story and your channel, but girl, you got a story to tell. You got a story to tell. Your story is deep, girl. I remember what you told me. It's not my place to say. I don't know how much you disclose in your videos. But from what I know is that you're a beautiful, beautiful girl. You have a beautiful face. And it's okay. Listen, once you get your surgery done, you're going to be good, girl. You're going to be good to go. I'm rooting for you. You're a survivor. You're going to make it off that operating table. You're going to come out with your flat stomach and you'll be like, Ew, boo. Yes. Listen, to carry... Even Weedy B's rooting you on Tara Casey. Listen, honey, I'm talking real deal right now, you know, no joking around. For you to be carrying that kind of weight on you must be weight within your mind, too. And I understand, and I'm here for you. Subconsciously, that must have worn you, and I understand. And now I essentially know why, in a way, that you were, you know, depressed. Girl, for you to hold up the way that you held up, as long as you did eight years 
That's a long time, girl. I, I gotta give you a lot of credit. You know, I don't know anybody else who could have done that. You, you gotta be really, really one strong SOB to be holding that for eight years. If you don't mind me asking, and I'm asking you th uh, through my video, were you afraid, essentially, Tara, to get the operation? Being you did make a comment publicly, or else I would never, if you, if you showed me, if you sent me a private message, I would never, ever say this, ever. Anything that's said to me in private between me and my viewers, I would never, ever disrespect you. But being you did make a public comment, that's why I'm publicly saying this in regards to that. Were you afraid, essentially, to get the surgery? What made you hold so long? And how long did it take for it to progress to get to that size? My dear girl, I God is with you. Hey, and look who it is, everyone. It's Tito Love. He's back. How'd the doctor's appointment go, Tito? Good, good. Good. You mind telling everyone how's everything going? Tito's blood pressure's low, right, Tito? Your blood pressure was good, right, Bob? Yeah. Blood pressure was good, and uh, Weeby's excited. Yes. Um. No, well, I don't want Weeby be in the rain. That's for sure. Well, we, me and Weedy be a good right this second, and when I'm done. What? Yeah, I am. I am going to go upstairs with him. We're just sitting here for a second. I'll go upstairs with him in about five minutes. I'm glad you went to your doctor's appointment. I'm glad everything went thank good. You. Yeah, thank God. Say hi to everybody, Tito. Hi. How? 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 <laughs> I mean, bring him out. It's fine. You want us all to go? Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. I thought you said it wasn't um, permissible for us to go. Okay. Hey, if he, he's the man. If he says, let's go, let's go. Right, guys? Tito's the man. Come on, Weedy V. All right, guys. Yeah. Billy Joel and the Hizzy Wizzy. All right. I guess we're going on a little adventure, guys. You're coming with us. Ew. Billy Joel and the hizzy. Hold on one second. I'm going to put Weedy B sweater on. Let me check his diaper. Look, he's excited. <laughs> My baby. Yay. I haven't had to undo the Brazil in here because it gets... Oh, my God, girls. You know the deal with that. You gotta, sometimes you gotta let them go, right? <laughs> it gets uncomfortable. Ah, I hope I'm be, gonna be able to do it. Pretty me, you just sat on the phone, silly boy. Hold on, guys. Pretty me's jumping around, guys. Hold on. Oh, well, I'm trying to fasten my Brazil. Ah, I hope I can get it. I got it. Oh, it feels so good sometimes. You know, ladies, you know, ladies, when anybody comes home or comes off of work or whatever the first thing that happens is you take the brazier off and put on the comfortable house clothes yes like my shirt guys i'll show it to you outside isn't that this was actually a costume and i just love it i love it yo in my room the horse that little weeby's horse this came with like boot covers and i put the boot covers on the horse and it looks so awesome it just it looks amazing it looks amazing. Okay, forget about the eyebrows, Barbara. You say I was gonna paint my nails. My nails need painted, but we're gonna forget all that and put on Weedy B's essential clothing for the great outdoors. We're going to the food pantry, guys. Ew. Yes. Okay, so Weedy B is gonna wear this flannel sweater or the thing that um, Tiffany gave us. Let me see which one's warmer. I think essentially, uh, yeah, they're both pretty warm, but I'm gonna go with this one. Thank you, honey. You know you got another one here. Oh, Bobby. Yeah, you're my baby. You'll always be my endless love. Uh-oh, <laughs> bananas are flying. <laughs> Come on, baby. Baby, 
Honey, you have to have your sweater on, honey. Yeah, we're gonna go out. Oh, God, the damn thing on. Come on, baby. Sweetie, babe. What's the matter? You don't want to go outside? We can't stay in the truck. Honey, we cannot stay in the truck, baby. Yeah, we can't stay in the truck. Wait a minute. He thinks we're gonna stay in the truck. Weedy B, we're not gonna stay in the truck. We're gonna go outside, okay? Come on, Baba. Come here, baby. Bye-bye. Come on, honey. Come on. We're gonna go out. Yeah, we're gonna go meet Daddy at the at the pantry, okay? Come on, we, honey, listen to mama. All right, I know how I'm gonna do this. <sighs> you don't want me to put the sweater on, but it's chilly, I have to. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to cut this off this way and get Weedy be dressed and uh, put him in the stroller. And uh, I'm gonna make another video at the pantry, the food pantry, where Weedy be is uh, dressed and ready to go. All right, guys, I love you all. Tara Casey, you are my prayers always. Uh, Barbara Way, I love you. I love you all. And guys, listen, we gotta we gotta stay in prayer for one another. You know, the world has enough hate, enough hurting, enough enough animosity, enough strife. It's time to love one another and pray for one another for our fellow man, honestly and earnestly in our hearts. All right, guys. Remember, never judge a book by its cover. God bless you. Ciao.